in the previous video we studied about the electron transfer concept of oxidation and reduction and as a conclusion of the previous video what we can say about a redox reaction a redox reaction we can divide into two half reactions that is oxidation half reactions and reduction half reactions isn't it so a redox reaction we can divide into two half reactions that is oxidation half reactions and reduction half reactions that means there will be oxidation that is losing of electrons and there will be reduction that is gaining of electrons taking place simultaneously next in this video we are going to study about competitive electron transfer reactions and it is actually meant for deciding or determining the reactivity or order of reactivity of different metals to compare the reactivity of different metals for example if we dip a zinc rod in copper sulfate or copper nitrate solution we know that copper nitrate or copper sulfate or any copper salt it is blue in color and the blue color of copper salts solution it is due to the presence of cu2 plus ions so for example we are going to dip a zinc rod in blue colored copper sulfate or copper nitrate solution so in the first diagram so this is the blue colored copper sulfate copper sulfate solution which contains what cu2 plus ions in that a zinc rod is dipped after some times what we can observe we know that zinc is more reactive than copper isn't it so what happen zinc will displace copper from copper sulfate so how we can write the equation as we are dipping zinc rod so we can write it as zn solid dipped in copper sulfate solution that is aqueous what we are getting here is is a den so4 plus c so zinc so after some times what we can see is if you look at the blue color of copper sulfate solution we can observe that there is decrease in the intensity of blue color of copper sulfate solution and along with that we can observe a small deposition of copper we can observe a small deposition of copper over this zinc rod because the zinc is displacing copper from copper sulfate solution okay now finally after after some times finally when the reaction completes what we can observe is the blue colored copper sulfate solution completely it will change to colorless and we can see a reddish brown thick deposition of copper over zinc rod and why this blue color solution becomes colorless because now it has become zinc sulfate so here now we have zinc sulfate solution so initially the solution was blue in color due to the presence of cu2 plus ions in the solution now zinc displaced copper from copper sulfate and copper sulfate solution now became zinc sulfate and it is colorless so it is colorless due to the presence of zn2 plus ions present in the solution
now from this experiment what we can infer from this experiment is zinc is more reactive than copper only because of that zinc is able to displace copper from copper sulfate and there is change in the color of copper sulfate solution so only if there is cu2 plus ions present in the solution it shows blue color and when when there is presence of zn2 plus ions it becomes colorless in the same equation if you are writing the ionic equation how we can write it as is a dense solid plus in cuso4 what we have cu2 plus ions in znso4 we have zn2 plus ion plus cu solid so if you look at the charge of each species zinc in the free state it is neutral that means zero charge copper it is 2 plus here it is zn2 plus and here copper in the free state that means copper metal there is no charge that means zero charge and see what happens to the charge of zinc here there is increase in positive charge that means it is undergoing oxidation by losing electrons at the same time cu2 plus 2 plus becomes zero that means there is decrease in positive charge that means it is undergoing reduction by gaining electrons this is what we have explained in the previous video that is if there is oxidation simultaneously there will be reduction so whichever species is losing electron there will be another species to accept those electrons and this reaction mainly depends on the order of reactivity of metals that we use there will be displacement reaction only if the metal that we are dipping in the salt solution is more reactive okay so if zinc is less reactive than copper there will not be any displacement or there will not be any reaction similarly if we are dipping silver rod this is another example to compare the competitive electron transfer so here zinc and co2 plus ions are there but here who is actually losing electron zinc is actually losing electron is and undergoing oxidation the reason is zinc is more ready to lose electron because zinc is more reactive only if the metal that we are dipping in the salt solution is more reactive there will be reaction okay now if silver rod if it is dipped in the same blue colored copper sulfate solution we cannot see any observation there will not be any deposition of copper or there will not be any change in the color of the solution what does it mean yes zinc is sorry silver is less reactive than copper so from the first experiment we have seen that zinc is more reactive than copper and from the second experiment we have seen that silver is less reactive than copper so how we can summarize or how we can club these two observation so if we compare the reactivity of zinc copper and silver how we can write the order of reactivity as the more reactive species is zinc then comes copper then comes silver so this competitive electron transfer concept is used by this method we can study the 
order of reactivity of different methods sorry different metals and using this we can prepare electrochemical series electrochemical series is also known as activity series that you will study next in uh, you will study next year in class 12 electrochemical series or activity series or reactivity series means the series in which the metals are arranged based on their order of reactivity and how we are studying or how we are assessing the order of reactivity is based on this competitive electron transfer process now based on this so we know that different metals are having different order of reactivity so based on this concept we it is useful or we are using to design certain cells called galvanic cells or electrochemical cells that means the batteries that we use in torches clocks inverters automobiles etc so this concept is very important to design galvanic cells which is based on activity series or reactivity series the series you will study only next year but the basic concept behind this activity series or reactivity series is this competitive electron transfer process okay